Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the free building generator, the Beautify in Blender, to create any of the 3D buildings for your Icron 8 3D animation software. And I'm going to show you step by step how to generate, how to create any of the building types, any of the the amount of the story of the buildings that you want. And then I will show you how to export as FBX and import into Icron 8 3D animation software as well. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you may just go to go to my, my video description there to get the Beautify for your Blender. And also get the Blender, you need to install the Blender in your computer. If you already download the Beautify, it is a zip file. A zip folder you have to right click and extract it into your computer once you already extracted you can see a blend file is there if you already install the blender then if you double click it it is also automatic open by using the blender to start this you have to click plus and then choose the general to create a new layout then scroll this is the blender right now. Next, you have to click here, the viewport shading, so that you can view all the colors. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the shape of this building. First, you have to click here, click the wrench. Maximum number of the floor is seven floor. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can see. If you modify it, let's say you put it 100, it is going to become 100 floor apartments let's say if I put 25 it is going to have 25 story just like this next I'm going to show you how to change the shape you have to to switch from the object mode to edit mode change it to edit mode then you click the movement next you, you can select the vertices you only select the bottom let's say if you select the, the vertices then you can click any of the vertices then you can adjust the location of the vertices right, now you can see let's say if you select the edge then you can select any of the edge that, that you want this is an edge then this is another edge okay, this one wait if you want to select you have to select at the X and Y plane. Do not go and select the, the Z plane. If you select the Z plane, you will spoil everything, you see? Just control Z. Now, let's say I want to select these vertices, then I click here, select these vertices to pull it out. It is up to you to design any of the shape of this building. See? Here, there's another vertices. Can be any shape. Once you feel satisfied already, next, you are going to design the color. First, you start from here. Click. Click this. Then, this is the base color. First is the ground floor wall. Change the color. Like this. Change the base color. Just now is the darkness. Then here is the color. Next, you are going to choose the wall. This ground floor pillar, if you change the color, which color is get changed? Not the surface color. You have to change the base color. Next, you, you scroll down. It's the rooftop. Rooftop actually is the base. The building base. Click here to change the color. It is just simple like this. Next is the wall color. The wall color should be here. You can just try it. No, not this. 
the middle floor wall alright this is the one you can change the colour from here change to any of the building colour that you want let's say if you want to have a pink colour building just like this next is here the trim not this the window the window is the roof window glass you can change the color at here make it blue it is up to you it can be any color green as well, light blue. Once you feel satisfied already, you are going to export it as FBX for your Icon 8 3D animation software. But you have to follow certain stuff. You cannot direct export as FBX file, no. Don't, don't export in this way, because if you export in this way, you will spoil everything. And also, First step, you have to export as OBZ. You have to choose the wavefront OBZ. Do not choose the legacy OBZ. The only way, the next step is export as OBZ. But before that, just save it as a new project first. I create a new folder, name this as building04. It is up to you to name it as any name. Save this Blender project first. Click File, Save As, then save it. On my desktop, the building 04. Here, I name this as building 04 as well. Next, you have to export as OBJ. OBJ. Click file, export. OBJ. inside this folder export as obj next close this project file then open the blender import the obj once you open the blender just delete everything delete the camera delete the cube and also delete the light then click here file import the obj Wavefront OBJ from this folder, Control C to copy and paste it here, Control V and press enter. Import this OBJ file and wait for a while. Once you import it already, the next step what you are going to do is just combine all the multiple mesh into just a single mesh. Now you can see this is multiple meshes. We are going to combine it to become a single mesh. Click the first one, scroll down. Hold the shift button, click the last one, then all will get selected. You have to press Ctrl J. Then all of this it combined into just a single mesh. Just double click it, name this as building 04. This is a single mesh. Next, export as FBX. Right click to create a new folder, 02 FBX. Then click file import sorry export as fbx for this time everything will be okay copy paste enter now export as fbx i will name this as building 04 the path mode you have to choose copy then select it to make sure all of the materials were embedded inside the fbx click export Where is it? Just wait for a while. Now everything done, it exported as FBX file already. Then for this, at this moment, I can close this Blender project and I don't save. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import the, the generated building from the Beautify to Icronate 3D animation software. 
so this is the FBX that you can direct drag in into the Icon 8 3D animation software and save it as iProp I'm going to show you step by step first open the Icon 8 So now the Icon 8 3D animation already loaded. It is quite simple, just drag in the FBX file. And we are going to test it in Icon 8 3D animation software. It is importing, just wait for a while. A few seconds. Done. Once done already, you can see this is the whole building. And everything is up to scale. To test the scale, this is pretty simple. We just need to drag in an avatar at the door to look at the scale of the building versus the 3D avatar in Icon. So now I choose the actor, the character, the actor called Crop. I simply drag in two avatar here. You can see this building is up to the normal scale with the 3D avatar. You can fit to the size and the scale of the generated building. Everything is quite convenient for, for you to create and generate any of the building for your Icon 8 3D animations. Just by using the Beautify and it is free, you can just go, go and download it from the link that I given get the beautified for Blender. All right. To save it as a prop, it's easy. Just double click to make sure you select it. Then, go to the custom, go to the props, double click the props and click save. This file name, I will name this as building04. Click OK. Now it already save it as a prop. Just right click to find the file. You should be able to see the, the file from the explorer. You can copy this for your friends as well. Right. Now I'm going to test this file just to, to create a new project. And this is a new prop that I save the building 04. Drag and drop into the scene. And have a look. Yes, you can see everything save perfectly. Now it already become an iClone prop, an iProp here. And everything goes smooth. And that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create any of the 3D building by using the free building generator, beautify it and export it out, and import into iClone 8 3D animation software and save it as iProp. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!